Welcome back to the channel. My name is John. If you haven't been here before, I really appreciate you stopping by. Today, we're going to make chicken al pastor on the big green egg. First, we're going to start off by mixing all of our dry ingredients. We got ancho chili powder with some salt, garlic powder and oregano, ground cumin and ground cloves. We're also going to make our own paste for the chicken al pastor. Um, we don't have the paste in the stores around here, so I got the seeds and the seasoning pack and we're going to get the mortar and pestle out and get that going. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can also do this in the food processor. So we got our annatto seeds, which is going to give it a lot of color and flavor, of course. Couple of these seasoning packs because we got a lot of chicken. We got about four pounds of chicken, so we need a little bit of paste. These little seasoning packs are basically um, the same similar ingredients that we have in here. Plus, it's got a little bit of extra seed in it for color. So we'll see if we can get that ground up. All right, I think I'm gonna get the food processor out because this is going a little bit tougher than I thought. Spices in there. All right, let's get all this put into the blender. Smells really good. Smell that garlic and the cumin, the spices. All right, I've got a half a cup of orange juice that I freshly squeezed, and I also have a quarter cup of lime juice in here also, fresh squeezed. And we got a quarter cup of white vinegar. Here we have our boneless, skinless chicken thighs, really inexpensive, $3.49 a pound at our local market. Get this prepared, really not much you gotta do. I may wanna just take a look at them, make sure there's nothing funky in them. You wanna use boneless, skinless, just cause of that little extra fat. There's some big, hard chunks. You wanna take those out. We all know fat is flavor, but we don't want these like hard chunks that you see here. Get those off. I don't know if I've said yet, but we're gonna cook these on the big green egg. We're gonna get these marinated up probably a couple, two to three hours in the marinade that we just made. And then we're going to process the pineapples down and we're going to take the top and the bottom 
and we're going to put a bamboo skewer through the bottom and then put all our chicken down and put the top on so it's basically basting in the pineapple also. Fresh set of gloves. And here's our marinade. Be careful what you're wearing. If you wear white with this, uh, this can stain you pretty easily. Make sure you get these all nice and evenly coated. Look how beautiful that color is. All right, let's get these in the refrigerator. And in the meantime, I'm gonna make, get these pineapples prepared. I'm also gonna make um, a pineapple salsa to go along with our street tacos. All right, we'll get these in the refrigerator. All right, let's see how we did on our pineapple choice at the market. That was good. Did have a little bad spot on our pineapple. All right, so we're gonna use that as the base with a skewer up through it. And then we're gonna to top it. And we're gonna put the, obviously the chicken in between it so that the pineapple will marinate the chicken also. But for the amount of chicken we have, I grabbed two pineapples because I really need to probably do two stacks and we're gonna cook them in a roasting pan on the big green egg. And we'll see if this pineapple will get better. If anybody knows an easier way to do these pineapple, let me know. This is kind of a pain. I couldn't buy them already cored because I wouldn't have any place to stick my skewer. Top. All right, this pineapple definitely looks a lot better than the other one. So we'll use the center sections and uh, make a nice pineapple salsa to go with this. All right, so we're gonna make just a quick, easy pineapple salsa. We're gonna do some red bell pepper, red onion, a little bit of jalapeno, the pineapple, and some lime juice. Jalapeno, you're going to want to do a little bit finer.
Ooh, that's sweet. One more cleanup. Bit of fresh cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you can leave it out, but really good. Lime juice. this in the fridge and we'll get the big green egg fired up in just a little bit here and get the chicken going alrighty our chicken is well marinated it's been in there probably for about three hours or so two and a half three hours which should be plenty we are going to be cooking it on the big green egg like we said I'm going to cook it in this roasting pan and to get my skewers ready here so these are the bottoms, we're just gonna go straight through that core. Try not to poke yourself. There's one. Get straight, straight as you can. So we're gonna alternate these. I'm gonna try to get them they stay pretty even. So one that way. And we'll put the other one the other way. Oh, it smells so good. Of chicken there. That way. Look at that bad boys. Failure. Real TV, guys. All right. Try not to do that on this one. This 
out of the way. Kitchen shears, get rid of that guy. And I saved a little bit of the sauce because I had to brush the top of the pineapple. fired up and we'll see you out there. guys these have been cooking for probably about two hours now it took a little longer than I thought um, it's now like seven o'clock so a little bit later than we usually eat but um, next time I may try to direct grill them instead of doing the whole pineapple thing to make it look pretty so let's get them off here and, and see how they came out sauce on there. I may have snuck a piece already. It's pretty good. So we did do some uh, cilantro, salt, pepper, white onion, like street taco style. Here's the salsa that we made. Yummy. marinade really did a great job on these chicken thighs. It's so tender and so flavorful. street taco style so just a little bit of the onion and cilantro Oops. <laughs> a little bit of that onion and cilantro and the chicken let's see how this is mm. Mm. that's so good salsa we made. Mm. Mm. So good. If you've never made chicken al pastor, you got to give it a try. One more bite. Two thumbs up.
Very good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll see you.